So I'm doing something a little bit different today. I didn't see any estate sales I liked. So I'm gonna hit a couple garage sales that are for some reason starting on a Friday. Um, didn't have any pictures or anything, but the description sounded good. So I'm gonna go check them out. So I'm walking up to my first garage sale here in a long time. Don't go to them too often. It's normally just newer items and cheap stuff, but this looks like a pretty good one in the description. And the first table I walked up to, I decided to take a look at the pins, and I'm pretty glad I did. I found some old stuff here. Some Parker 51s. So yeah, they look pretty good. Really good shape. Those are fountain pens there. And let's dig around and find, I always look for the little arrow clip. If it's an arrow clip, I pick it up. Um, put it in a shape like an arrow. That means it's a Parker pen. And they had some uranium glass here, but the prices were super high. Asking $15 for a pie plate when I can find them for two or three. And a bowl for 10 bucks, so it's just not very useful. Not a good display piece. It's wasn't really worth my time. Too hard to resell large items like that for such low prices. And a fair, find a pair of old cleats. They look kind of neat. I don't know what they would be worth, but they're made by Wilson, which was a really good leather company, at least back then. I don't know. I guess these are from, what, the 50s, 40s? Maybe it's the 50s, 60s, but... The tongue's ripped out of one of them, so I figured they're probably worthless. I'll just pass on them. Start digging around, looking at the old games, and I found this weird little card. It's just one of those items you just throw into the bag because you know they're not really going to charge anything for it at a garage sale. So, this garage sale was an absolute home run. See what all I got here. I paid five bucks for everything. I got some winol, which is a polishing compound, a huge container of it. It's still good. I actually use those when I'm restoring fountain pens. Use that kind of polish. Uh, a lint brush. Handy to keep one of these in the car. An old. I don't even know what this is. Only a doll is. Some kind of like little booklet or something. I don't know. It's old though. And then the pens. So I got a cross pen in a bag. I'm not familiar with it. It's probably it's probably worthless. But you know, for the price, you just throw everything in a bag. I got a bicentennial Schaefer. That should be a fountain pen. Don't know, I'll have to clean up the packaging and take a look at it and see what I have there. And I've got the mechanical pencils from Parker's. And it was probably a set with these two. This is what is good here. I have two, these are Parker 51s. And they're the aromatic version. You can't tell, but I have some buffing to do on this one. But they are fountain pens. Let's see if I open it up and it should have the aromatic filling system. Yeah, you kind of squeeze this to draw in the ink. Let's see. Let's see if that sack is still good. But yeah, once these are restored, I'm just gonna take a guess. Um, I'm familiar with the other Parker 51s. They sell for a hundred or more. So these might go for a hundred a piece once I restore them. And the tools are storing weren't cheap, but these don't take many tools, but but I have the tools, I have the time, and I'll be restoring these, and they'll be fantastic writers. All right, well, I probably won't be able to top that today, but uh, I'm going to go around and see what else I can find. Walking up to another garage sale. Didn't spend a whole lot of time at this one. 
I did find some old video games, but when they're individually priced, generally they're priced way too high. The guy knew what he had, and he was asking eBay prices, so it wasn't worth my time. So I moved on to an estate sale here. I didn't buy anything here, but I decided to include this one. Look at all these collector's plates. Every one of those boxes is one of those ordered from TV or whatever collector's plates. Who knows what all they are? If there was anything from animals to John Wayne, there, surely there's got to be some Princess Die ones in there, right? Just wait. Look at all these. I mean... You have to order multiple ones a week for a lifetime to get this many. And if anyone knows of any of these collector's plates that's worth anything, let me know. Because I, I assume they're worthless. Look at this. It's something else. Make a good BB gun range, I guess, with them. house is filled with them so moving on I always like looking through the office uh, I pick up little things like this even though if I don't think I need them yet because I can get a whole stack for a few bucks where uh, if ever I need any of this stuff I might have to make a special trip to Walmart and pay nine dollars for one of these packages of labels or whatever so I just grab a whole stack and walk out and I think I spy uranium glass here, a little Fenton rabbit. And yeah, it's glowing. And I figured, oh, a place like this, uh, this they're probably going to charge me 20 bucks for this, but I was pleasantly surprised at their price. So this wasn't too bad of a sale. Stopped by an estate sale here. I picked up a whole bunch of Stuff like labels and printable labels and business cards. Just stacks of stuff. They charged me 10 bucks, which I thought was a little high, but really if you ever need any of this, and I use it from time to time, just one of these packages can cost eight, you know, so I get a whole stack of stuff. And got a custard glass uh, fit and rabbit. So let's see. Get my little light here. Let's see if you can see a glow in here. You? Yep. They only charged me four dollars for that. It even still has a label in the bottom. I'm not sure what year this is. A pretty good deal for four bucks. Getting a late start today. I uh, didn't really see anything I want to check out at any of the sales. I'm only going to a few. It's it's already after 12, so nothing to scroll through and show you. Just gonna go out there and see what I find. But days like today is, I'm very likely to find something really good, even though I don't see anything in the pictures, because you never know what you're gonna find. So I'm gonna hit the road. So this guy was supposed to have been a tennis player because he had tennis stuff everywhere. Little collectibles. Find all kind of little toys. This is one of the original treasure trolls. Yeah. Yeah. And hey, it's a Garfield. Yeah, I found a little bag of calligraphy stuff and fountain pens, but they're pretty cheap ones you can get from any old hobby store. But I figured they'd only charge me a couple bucks for this bag, so I'd pick it up. And I needed some of these bulbs. Yeah, well, these, are, these are exact bulbs I've been looking for, thinking of ordering on Amazon, but I figured one day I'll find them in a state sale, and I did for a dollar or two a bulb, so I grab them. And I... <laughs> And then avoid the Noid glass in perfect condition. We'll pick that up for a friend of mine, I think.
And luggage locks. I thought, well, oh, you know, they'll probably only charge me a dollar for each of these locks. But they ended up charging me, asking for five bucks a piece for them, four or five bucks a piece. So I just put them back. It just wasn't worth it to me. So that was kind of a fun one. Uh, let's see what all I got here. Got a few light bulbs for two bucks a piece. Been needing some of these light bulbs. So it's not too bad of a price. A bag full of fountain pen stuff for five bucks. There's nothing really worth a lot in here, but I could probably use some of that. We got a Yodoid glass. 1987. A wireless trackball Logitech mouse. I don't, it's a newer one, so I don't think it's worth a whole lot, but I might use that at work or something for a few bucks. A little Marvin Martian Christmas ornament for a few bucks. And I got this little tennis scarf for you for about four bucks, which feels a little high, but it's worth it to me. Alright, so I'm going to head on to my next one. Alright, so this is my last one for the week. And I found some, I thought that maybe this is cut to clear, but it's cut to, special cut to clear glass, but it's uh, imitation. It's cheap stuff. Looks like they're trying to copy Art Deco, I mean, um, depression glass there, and it, was, it wasn't any good. This is a pretty good bowl. They were asking 15 for it. It's uranium, but it's too big for me to display. It's uh, and a little too big for me to want to. Too big of a hassle to ship, so I just leave it. Even though it's a great price, someone will appreciate that. And speaking of, let's see. Yep, more uranium. 50 on that, but they it's a half price day, so I grabbed that. I actually need that for for some flowers. I'll actually use that vase. And then here's some actual real cut to clear. And they're asking a, a, a price that I would kind of expect to see with these. You can see where it's colored glass. And the glass is not painted. It's actual glass is actually that color and they cut down to a clear portion of it. So it's a pretty good week. Uh, actually, this was two weeks worth of worth of shopping. Um, yeah, I'll make a little money, take a little while. And at the end of that last one, I didn't record it, but I did find a fountain pen. So this, it's a flat top Schaefer Laugh Lifetime. So that should put it right around 1930, I, I believe. Uh, it's a lever feeling one. And I just threw out, they didn't know what it was, and I wasn't sure of its condition, so I just threw out an offer of $15, and they said, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, and even for that price, the, with the issues it has, it has a, it's a messed up nib, so I might have to get a new one. And yeah, repairs would probably be $50, $60 just to repair it, the nib. I don't know if it's really worth that. There's a small crack in the barrel. I might be able to cinch it down and super glue it, but... It's a very easy restore. If it were in perfect condition, and if it were, I'm not sure which size this is. If this was the oversized model, this would be about um, probably a $250 pen. But it's, I believe it's the regular size one. Uh, and if it were in perfect condition, I could probably expect to get 120, 140 for it. So, and my camera's acting up, so I guess it's letting me know it's time to stop. So, <laughs> oh boy. So I'm pretty happy with that pen, even though with this condition that it's in, it'd probably only be worth about, oh, who knows, 40, 50 in parts or something, but I'll see. So I'm looking forward to next week. I've already spotted some good stuff, so I'll see you then.